Danny here, Quick Lear Chaos, Marsh Moon with Dee Dee's Beach Up. It is windy as all heck out here right now. We got like eight inches of snow this week. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really coming up Dee Dee's Beach Up right now, weather wise. Especially after last week, we went and looked at like all of the cars. Like, you gotta be hankering for some hot rodding, but it looks like we're gonna have to wait a little while. So, today I thought we would do an old fan favorite, which is reading your comments to Dan and seeing his response. Now the question we get all the time from folks is why do you even acknowledge the comments? Why do you read the comments? Well, A, because you guys write comments. B, when you're having a conversation with somebody, it's a back and forth, right? It's a give and take. And so you don't just like let one person do all the talking, right? When you're building relationship and things like that you all have a conversation. And so when we do videos like this, honestly, it's the easiest way to address a lot of the same questions <laughs> without going in and answering every single comment the exact same way. I know a lot of folks go, well, why do you give like, why do you let them live in your head rent free? Baby, I'm gonna tell you, they're not living in our head rent free. You're just giving us content, which is great. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like all seriousness we love the comments we love interacting with you guys so that's why we do videos like this they're not to be like i don't know woe is us because we don't feel woe is us we just like talking with you guys and answering your comments and we've enjoyed over these last you know however many years building this relationship back and forth so that's kind of why we do it anyways let's go see what dan is up to in the garage look at this fur though right i'm not gonna lie I'm pretty excited to drive this truck. Oh, what a pose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just found tunnel ram linkage. Nice. The things you find when you stop and look at the roses, huh? Something like that. Danny's making me work. It should be a sick day. I know. I told them already that you're not feeling good. And I'm sorry. But Danny needs her money. But there is Mama a... needs to get paid, she said. <laughs> I'm like, all right. There is a good question on the Facebook. Are you going to make me read, read comments while I'm down? I might. Wow. We'll see how long it takes for you to answer this question. Mm -hmm. No, this was a nice question. Eric said, you should do an episode with the best bang for your buck upgrades for tri fives that you can do at home. Polishing out the paint, shine juice, what kind of things would be on that list? Best bang for your buck. Go. Two door doors. Next question. <laughs> well, I guess it all depends on your skill level and all that. So <clears throat> I assume if you're, you know, buying and you try to be budget friendly, you're going to buy four doors, buy the best four door you can. And I guess everyone is different. What they think is important. I like structural stuff and I like suspension and all that. I mean, you can't go wrong with a floor pan. They're a thousand bucks. They're a lot of work, but you have an absolute, like the way these tri pipes rust, if you do floor pans and rockers, you eliminate like 75% of the rock. So that's important. The, the cheap stuff they sell for sheet metal is like the lower sections of fenders, the lower sections of quarter panels. Those are easy to replace and get that taken care of. So that's, I mean, sheet metal wise, if you get a car that needs those things, I think you're in the money. Brakes, I mean, I'm a big believer in disc brakes. Um, honestly, because they're cheap in the tri era, the front wheel bearings are like ball bearing deals, which are fine, but the bearings are expensive to replace versus just sort of tapered deals. So you can upgrade to tapered bearings and uh, disc brakes, and it's like cheaper than basically redoing the front ends. We have to do drums and all that stuff. The cost of drums and the cost of shipping now, depending where you are, I guess, it's damn near the same price to upgrade as far as I'm concerned. So those, those are the big ones you have in the car. If you're going for style points, again, buy a junk four door and a set of two door doors for like 250 or $300 and butcher them on there in a weekend and you got yourself a two door sedan and it looks cool. Is that good, miss? What's the next one? D she, she's moving, but I'm not. <laughs> Try to make it seem like something's happening. <laughs> make it seem like there's a little more action. You're making it sound like I'm a, some kind of slave driver or something sleeping. here. She made me put on this outfit. That's... This is makeup. No, that's false. That is false. I would like... It needs to be stated. I am not like... 
But he was already out here, asked me to do a thumbnail, and then offered. Feels like elder abuse. Because you're so old. That's right. <laughs> I'll buy the chicken nuggies later. Mm. So D Hurt says, when instill, instead of building one or two really nice cars, you build four or five pieces of crap, but spend the same amount of money. Well, it's probably closer to 15 pieces of crap, just so we're clear. <laughs> Durst. D Hurt. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> somebody hurt that guy. Yeah, he's not wrong. I, uh, I don't know. So I've said a bunch of times, at the end of the day, uh, what I enjoy is this. I like ratty exteriors. I like mechanically sound. I like stuff we can put miles on. And I like stuff that's going to sit outside because that's how I'm going to treat it. And I'm probably going to drive in the wintertime. I'm not against you having nice shiny paint. If you want to spend your money on two nice cars, by all means, go for it. Um, yeah, the other thing which I've learned is we're, we're running a business as it turns out. And uh, you have to keep the cars coming. So I don't think you can just watch me paint and polish all day, every day. That'd be pretty boring. I wouldn't want to do it. No one wants to watch it. And a couple weeks ago, we actually went to, uh, what do we do, a Tri-5 deal. And uh, the, guy, the guy there, great guy, he did a, I'm terrible at the years, but like a 567 truck. And it was gorgeous, painted nice, interior, the bed was painted. He had a, like, like LS, the whole deal. And I think it was last summer, maybe summer It's before. green and gray, green and really gray. nice paint job. It's sharp truck. And uh, <clears throat> he did a pile of work to it. He's a craftsman, basically the opposite of DV Speed Shop. But you know what he's building right now? The same truck, but patina. And he said last year, the year before, I forget what it was, he did a big road trip with his wife or his old lady, whatever it was. And uh, they went all over the place, which is great, but he had to like wrap the front, he had like a, like a LeBra on the front. He had to tow a trailer because he wanted to have stuff rattling around in the nice painted bed and all that. And he realized, he's like, this truck's nice to look at, it's great to take out, but the patina stuff, you don't have to worry about it. And every time someone says you should paint it or this and that, I always think they don't drive their shit. There's maybe like five people I've met in the whole time in the car community that finish something really, really nice and then drive it. Daily drive it. Daily I drive think it. is the key there. Versus just take it to the Sunday show or the kids out for ice cream where you gotta take your shoes off to get in it. So if that's the kind of guy old D Hurst is, D Hurt then hey, more power to you to, to finish thing right to the absolute nth degree, then go take it down the gravel road. But for most people, you gotta, you gotta make a choice. And I made my choice. Don Davis says, those front rims make me want to vomit. <coughs> Is that a question? It was just a comment. You know what? So wheels are a funny one. I love wheels. And a little bit of variety is the spice of life. So. I mean, just look behind you. There's wheels like crazy there. Those are whatever rallies and whatnot. I don't know where this is. Oh, I have my the daisies around the other one. I got wheels. We got basement wheels. We got backyard wheels. We got wheels on the cars. We got wheels on storage. And uh, these came up. They were a bit of a deal. They were half price and brand new. I bought them. I tried them on, and we'll see what happens. They are absolutely not for everybody. I'm I'm hit and miss on them. I'm not gonna lie. But I also realize. Every time I so like I love steel wheels, that's my jam. Every time I put steel wheels on, looks terrible. All right, fair enough. I love daisy wheels. I got I don't know how many cars have daisies on them. So I want to try something different. We have Pragers on stuff, and uh, you know what? No matter what I put on it, someone says the opposite. So away she goes. Feel free yakking. <laughs> There's been some questions about the old Ford. Which one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Which one? The only one? <laughs> <coughs> they all blend together out there. You didn't pay $600 for that tailgate. If so, that was a dummy thing to spend $600 on. Yes. <laughs> hey, what kind of, that thing had to be delivered uh, by Snowshoe or Snow Dog, Sled Dog. Um, from way up north, it was quite the thing. We actually traded beater, beaver pelts for it. That's how it worked out to be 600 bucks. I actually have a beaver pelt. Did you know that? No. <laughs> On your back? No! Oh. Stop trying to make people think I'm gross. I'm not gross. Look at the sweater you're wearing. Okay, well mine you're is- You're not this... dressed for camera day. I look, I look a little better right now. I was building furniture inside. 
for my closet. Ikea. <laughs> That Ford, oh, this is from Darwin. Oh, he seems like he knows his shit. That Ford is more trouble than it's worth. Junk it and save your mental health. He's just worried about your mental health, and that's nice. So, <clears throat> I guess, I don't, I don't understand what people don't like about honestly anything old, for the most part. Um, like, it's, it's so simple. The suspension was used for years. We're gonna end up changing the motor trans and rear end. We can rewire it if we have to. Other than that, it's a set of frame rails and a body on it. It's not like, I get when stuff gets later and later, like BMWs and Mercedes, which I don't understand, but they become very complicated electronically and stuff like that, or it's a combination of like in the 80s of uh, electronic and mechanical, and it'd be, you know, it's hard to diagnose before it got like, you know, OBD2 where you could plug it in. I get that, but an old car, I don't know what, like what's bad about it? I guess is my question. If you don't like the way it looks, then so be it. If you don't like the drive line, change it. That's all there is to these old hot rods. Okay, this one is from Lloyd, and I've given it a little attention already on the Facebook, but it just made me laugh so hard. So Lloyd says, 20 cars, and yet he only has one rad cap and one good battery. <laughs> Can't even pop in this thing because there's no rad cap on it. I, uh, I don't even know, man, what to tell you. I get rad caps sent to me. Actually, I have some in the other garage. I I just I don't know. I'm hard on gear. What can I say? It is what it is. And every time I have to go look for something, I need something. I don't have it. I just grab it off whatever car right beside it. And it all fits. Every rad cap's the same. Every battery's the same. We put it on there. We make it happen. It's future Dan's problem. It's future Dan's problem. And ultimately, there's some cars now. I made the vow like last year where we're not taking parts off Danny's car. That's right. We're not taking parts off of my Nomad. We don't take parts off my black car. So those three, we don't scavenge for parts. And ultimately, you know what? There's stuff that happens and uh, I guess it feels like we're always on a friggin' deadline, <laughs> which is a nightmare. But um, like last year, for instance, you know, like up, come up to power tour with uh, the Nomad or come up to cruising the coast that uh, Chevy too. It becomes just days away or whatever it is. And there is no time to order. There's just, there's no, no way to, to pay enough money to get it here fast enough. Um, sometimes it's not worth going to drive to get it at the auto parts you know, store, or sometimes it's Sunday at two o'clock in the morning and you have to get it done. And that's why you scavenge parts and then you go on the trip and then you forget about it and then uh, this is the situation you run in. And without me doing that, you wouldn't get to rip on me. So basically, you're welcome. I have one final thing. <clears throat> Everyone wants you to know this is on backward. Oh, I didn't read that. But it works the same. No, it doesn't. Well, what do you mean it doesn't? <clears throat> Look how good this door opens now. Wow, so it makes a lot of sense now that I've been told 50 times over, but this little flapper which controls it, it should be up at the wing window because the wing window never goes up and down. Oh, that does make sense. But you know what I think we're gonna do? Leave it, because it pisses off the internet. <laughs> but they were right. The internet's always right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today, sir. We really appreciate it. Let's get something to eat, some Mike will. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Do me a favor. If you enjoy the schmoo time, uh, please. <laughs> what are you trying to poke at me? Um, please subscribe below. Leave a comment. We love to read your comments. Oh, it's like a microphone. We love to read your comments. And actually, we have some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, uh. you, oh, that was gross. Do you want to tell them? I'll be in the car. Okay, well. <laughs> Coming up in the next month, I will tell you, Big things are in. new merch is on the way. Big things, stay tuned. New something else is on the way, but I can't tell you what that is. But it's Nuggy time, so we'll see you later.